Dennis Charney here with Whip Finish Industries and today I'm going to tie a crane fly. This is a dry fly pattern. Uh, the crane flies generally start to emerge late in the month of May right in through the month of June and we, we see them sprinkled throughout the summer. We'll fish this in a size 14 and a size 16 and you will see both yellow bodied and orange bodied may, uh, crane flies. So I'm tying a yellow bodied crane fly, but depending on your creek, you may see more that are actually an orange hue to them. So we start with a TMC 921 dry fly hook. This is a short shank dry fly hook. Yellow 6 aught thread. And I'm wrapping my underbody. No tails on this fly. This fly generally takes an appearance that almost looks like a mosquito, but it doesn't have any biting parts to it. So I'm tying a yellow bodied crane fly and I'm using a Wapsi beaver dubbing in yellow. I'm going to create a thin abdomen on this fly. I'm wrapping this dubbing about three quarters of the way up the hook shank. Just trimming some strays here. Okay. And now we want to tie in our wings and I'm using some light done hen feathers to create a pair of wings, stripping the stem just to give me a nice little representative wing there. And we tie this in what we call delta style, which means both wings are just drawn across the back of this fly. one wing in. And again, I've stripped to make a nice wing out of the second feather and laying that on the, other, the opposing side. But again, try to keep these on the top of the hook shank. bind them down. If you can pull them to either side of the hook, get a little bit of nice separation on those wings. And now just for the hackle. The hackle I'm using is a light ginger hackle. We're going to tie this in the top of the hook shank. Trim the butt. We're going to wrap this around the hook shank in what we would call a Catskill style, with each wrap advancing forward toward the eye of the hook. Now, if I get a good five or six wraps there, that's six, I believe. We'll tie that off. Trim the butts. Ah, come on. There we go. Whip finish. Trim our strays. We always have a couple. 
And there we have a yellow crane fly. Enjoy fishing crane flies. This is a good active hatch that we'll play with during, specifically during the end of May, the whole month of June, and sporadically throughout the summer. I hope you've enjoyed the demo, and I hope you tie some of these flies and you find that these flies are highly effective in, in your trout pursuits. All of these materials are listed below, and you can buy all of these or any of these materials by clicking below, and we'll have all these sent right to your doorstep, supplied by a local fly shop. Go have fun. Thanks for joining us.